guys, welcome back to uh, part 14 for Jewel of the Black Sea Boss Spring Kingdom. It's been a couple days, uh, my bad on not. I've been kind of slacking on trying to get them to go up every day. That's what I really want to do. I love this. I, I didn't know that the road would actually show up on this side of the map, but that is so cool. Once this road is seen going all the way like that, that would just be so cool, guys. So we have a couple things to do before we unpause, but a big thing is that we will be going to war and trying to take some of this territory over here. We're probably just going to have to buckle up and uh, go to war with Legia first because we don't really have... Is this a volcano? That's pretty cool. I know there's a volcano here. But like I said, you know... Oh wait, these guys are our vassals. So, I'm wrong. We do actually have a complete coastal way in here. They're at war with, uh, they're having a, a little revolt. Which means that, uh, you know, we could potentially easily, you know, a little easier get in there. So, uh, one thing we need to do is get a colony going. We could send one up into, uh, Sarmatia, the Siotnik. Siotnik is right here produces a uh, freaking wild game but you know what do we want to send people up there let's compare our choices oh we got the Pontic to Karasus Karasus is over here I believe no Karasus is right here that's Kiros, actually, my bad. Uh, Karasos. Let's find this. Karasos. I knew it was over there. Why, why didn't I see that? Alright. Oh, because I was looking right here. My bad. So we're going to send it to the Pontics instead. Okay, so we do have some... Bo oh, looks like they're a little overcrowded right now. So let's move some in from right here. Um, these are both settlements. Yikes. Alright, well we moved three just so that they're not uh, coming in over their limit and uh, being stuck. So we do have a little bit of pretender support. These guys aren't that powerful though. So Mantiza, we can't do much about that either, which is unfortunate. So do we want to go to war with Legia is the question. Or I mean Iberia. I think we should maybe try it. Let's do this guys. Okay, so we'll start moving everyone down here. Let's just hit the button. Boom. Everyone's raised up. So we got one. We got a lot of people to move in. So we got 12,000 right now is our strength. Hope that's going to be enough. We have grain. You know what? Is there anything for archers? Oh, that's right. It's like wild game. Oh, so that's honestly a reason why it's good. Archer discipline plus 10%. Okay. I take it back now. I'll get olives. It's not bad. Are we getting it now? Okay, good. Alright, so the boats. Where's our freaking boat at? Here it is. Oh, snap. Yeah, because we have two more down here. Wait, so does that mean we actually have... 18,000 guys check that out hell yeah all right that's very good so we're gonna start getting everyone to move down these guys are gonna come over here let's see the ongoing war has taken at most attention of the basilisk as he leads our armies to inevitable victory does have oh, okay yeah this is why our, uh, our aristo nike our wife is gonna take over she always takes over when we um start going off to war 
Another thing I'm worried about too is um, I really don't think Spartacus can. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he'll survive this war. He's really old. He's already 70 years old. For Roman times, 70 is very old. Okay, we're gonna let Aristo Nike do what she needs to do. I don't wanna, you know, make her pissed off. Okay, so let's get them on. Okay. We'll send them down here. Everyone needs to be coming down here. We'll have to go pick up uh, the levy right here. Let's move let's move these things around too. Alright, we'll put it heavy first. Then we'll do light. Then we'll do 87. Okay, let's try to be fast. Let's do this fast so that we're not looking at this. You guys can skip ahead if you don't want to see me going through this. Light. Light. Now let's just make sure that they have 99. Let's make sure they all have the uh, better tactics. Oh, one more here that we forgot. Okay. Alright, so let's move all of our fleets into here. Oh wait, that's actually going to be trapped at 15, so we'll get two different armies. Eh. Crap, we're losing money for some reason. Okay, so let's have him go to this port right here. Oh wait. Let's have him go to this port right here. Okay, we have an omen. Let's call in the tax. Or actually... Morale of Navy. So yeah, let's call in the tax one. We need the money. 3.11. Let's see how that goes up. Hopefully it goes up by 3.64. Okay, that's good. Alright, I think we got the army that we need. So, let's see. We'll make this guy the leader. Antifi oh, Antiphilus. Yeah. Alright, our oldest son, who no longer is the heir, he's going to be the main leader of this army right here. So we kind of just got to go through this process of attaching everyone who's not attached. Okay, good. So now we'll send in... Okay, yeah, we'll just have two armies of 7,000. Okay, so attachments allowed. Attach the unit. Alright, so... Okay, and well then we still have these ones coming in. Alright, good. So we'll have 14. Yeah, we'll be at right about 18,000. We'll have each of them go down into one. So you guys go there. You guys go there. It looks like our invasion is ready. I hope this is enough, guys. I really do. Okay, they should all be attached now. Ah, Okay, so when he moves, they all move with him. Good. So now this is the last guy. Attach. Okay, good. Everyone's ready. So when this guy moves, they all move with him. Send them down into... So we're invading the... Uh, we're basically going for the coastline of cold cheese right here. Let's hope that we can... Uh, let's hope we can do this, guys. Oh, we're ready at negative 9%. Okay, good. That's just from the war school. Okay, let's do this. I'm nervous guys, I'm nervous. We have a fort right here stopping it, which is good. You know what, we could have passed through right here also. I, I just realized that. But all right, we got this guys. Boom, first one taken. Let's go into the fort. You guys come down here. I think we got the city. I mean, I think we got the war one. I think we can do this guys. Now why can't I move him? Are you really gonna be unloyal on me now? What's going on? Oh, that was frustrating. Okay. You know what? Let's let's do some slave raiding, actually. Who wants an alliance? Armenia wants an alliance. Oh, we can ransom a prisoner. Oof. Who's this guy? Damn it, can't call them in. Oh, 
Alright, well, let's get these slaves, regardless. Hell yeah, okay, we're getting a bunch of slaves right now. That's two. Let's get all this trade going. Pontic slave becomes freeman. I don't like that. And we get money. Okay, we'll do that. Boom. Okay, so we've gotten three slaves already. Okay, here's an army right here. Oh. Damn it, I lost them. Oh, wait, here we go. We caught him off. Yes. Here we go, guys. Okay. They don't stand a chance. They don't have any heavy infantry. We have heavy infantry. We have to use that to our advantage. The fact that we have heavy infantry and they're not using any, that might be one of our best bets. So, oh, they're, they're trying to finish up the Iberian Revolt still. That's good. Oh, Ophelis. Ophelis. Okay, I told you Spartacus was not going to survive into that war. All right, Ophelis, it's up to you. So, I think we need to take a moment, though. Spartacus the third. We're going to go up into here. Our rulers. All right, Spartacus, Spartacid. He ruled over for almost 47 years. He conquered and grew us, you know, basically up into the entire northern Black Sea. We have coastlines in Anatolia as well. He got uh, barbarians also to sell us coastlines over on the east coast. So he did a lot of good things. But... It's 257 BC. It's about to go into 500 AUC. Ophelis is only 29. He's not so he has you know 30, 40 years that he can start trying to do something. We can put someone in because he was governor over here. So firstly, let's um check out who's scorned. So the Spartacid family itself is scorned. And we don't have anyone else that we can give it to, unfortunately. There's like just no, we don't have anyone in the family. Okay, well, we don't have anyone in the family, which is unfortunate. It means we can't do that. But we could put in, he's assertive. Oh, I don't like that. Here, this guy's weak-willed. He's old, though. Crap. Okay. Oh, every time I think I see someone that I like, that's good. They're old. All right, we'll put the polymid guy, because... Yeah, here we go. This guy is 51. Good loyalty. Uh, four out of four for the family, so... If someone in that family were to uh, lose their position... Crap. We might have rebellion down here soon, guys. Alright, we might not be worth getting this right now. Okay, we're going to have to just have harsh treatment because we don't want that to be changing right now. Wait, what the heck is going on here? Uh, I think this guy just went. I don't get why they're not listening. It's because he died. That, that, that just must be the reason why. Okay, crap. Okay, we have to redo this really quick, unfortunately. God damn it. Okay, so first levy of Torica. This is who we're going to do. Attachments allowed. Yeah, this guy had to... Why did you become disloyal to us, you little douchebag? Unfair succession. 
Uh, you're gonna make us bribe you now? I thought we figured it out when we made you our friend. You really messed everything up, Antiphilos. And I shouldn't even—I shouldn't even let you have an army right now. But whatever, we will. I don't even want to try to make him friends either because that way, that that just wouldn't work out. Ugh. Here, you get attached because you're not freaking loyal. Okay, they're all attached now. Sorry about that. Uh, again, we dropped the siege, of course. Okay, good. See, the Spartacid family needed someone. This is the event I was hoping to find. So we can adopt someone into our family. Of course, they're both freaking so old. Well, this guy has two kids that are freaking dead. Damn it. Uh, these are not good people. Oh, I can adopt minor characters. Okay, okay. I'm glad it says that. So we let's maybe pick someone. Let's look at ages. Let's look at things. Um. Uh, is there a? Okay, let's look at around these people. Foreign character from Rome. Oh, I like this guy. Can I adopt him? Okay, foreign citizens, you can't. That's why. So, Machatas, he's 34. Ah. Uh, here we go. Is that a girl? That's a female. Oh man, these people are too young. My bad, guys. I need to find someone not in a family. Well, I guess these were like some of the best choices or whatever. Let's just do Kratos. And let's, we'll, we'll let him have the family. Kratos, Spartokid. Alright, so what's going on here? Let's take this. We could go take this fort, or we could go try to fight them or something. I wonder where their army went. Ah, oh, what's going on here, guys? Come on. I don't want to lose all that money. I guess we'll have to just do this one. Fuck it. Excuse my language, sorry. Here's, oh, only 100. All right, we'll just go, let's just take up here. So we'll take this one, we'll raid slaves up here. Oh man, 131st Olympia now. Oh, these guys. Oh, here we go. Machatas. Machatas better win. Please. Man, the Iberian War is going so well, guys. I was nervous they might pull up a bigger army, but they're, I mean, they're freaking struggling against the Iberian Revolt. Yeah, look at that. So. They're Arab. They're, uh. They're called Iberos. Aren't they called Iberos too? I hope we can take a lot of regions. This will be an amazing area. But you know what? Let's let's have this uh, be it for part 14. I'll uh, catch you guys in part 15 where we will continue this. We will continue the glorious reign of Ophelis the first, and we'll have to see 
what comes out of the next. So uh, stay tuned for part 15. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that from you guys. And uh, stay tuned for more.